Hello everyone, this is Shabnam here. Welcome back to my channel, The Counseling Corner. In my previous video, I have spoken about how your thought process can determine your destiny. In today's video, I am going to tell how you can put an end to your negative thinking and promote your positive thinking and how you can make positive thinking a part of your life. Now I would like to answer one question asked by a lady. How is it possible to think positive when there is so much of negative things happening in our, around us? The only way is that you need to make your emotional health your priority. Every day you need to make it a point to practice positive thinking and to stop thinking negative. For this, there are certain things which you will have to do and there are certain things which you need to avoid doing. First, we'll see what are the things which you need to avoid doing. Usually, most of us, as soon as we get up in the morning, we have the habit of taking our mobile. So first thing is that you need to avoid touching your mobile. Avoid going into social media and reading messages. Avoid listening to news or reading the newspaper as well as avoid speaking to anyone. The first hour when you wake up in the morning, you need to keep it aside for your emotional health. Now, what are the things which you need to do? As soon as you wake up in the morning, you need to pray to God and thank God for all his, the blessings you have. The second thing, you can do meditation or yoga to boost your emotional and mental health. The third thing is that you need to practice gratitude. You need to write down or note down either three or five things for which you are grateful for. For example, you are still alive or you are grateful for your family, you are fit and fine, you are still having an income or you have a good job. Anything which you are grateful for, you can note down in your diary. The next point is that you have to practice positive affirmations. Like you can say for example, I am amazing. I am confident about myself. Or today, no matter what, I am not going to lose my temper. So any five positive affirmations, you can tell it loudly if you are alone. Or you can tell it in your mind or you can just note it down in the diary. The next important thing is that you need to play some spiritual song or some peaceful music in the house. So this will not only have a positive impact on your thought process but the entire house will get a positive vibration as well as all the people in the house will experience peace. So there, these are few things which you need to avoid doing and certain things which you need to make it a practice to do every morning so that you can promote positive thinking. The next thing is that the time which is very important is the time before we go to bed. But most of us have the habit of working late night and no, just before we go to bed we keep working which should be avoided. So two hours before you go to bed, you need to stop all the things which is related to your work, be it sending mails or rechecking mails or answering the call. And one hour before you go to bed, you need to disconnect yourself from the social media as well as watching TV. And just 15 to 20 minutes before you go to bed, you need to again practice positive affirmations. You can write a gratitude journal about the things which went on well during the day as well as you need to listen to some motivational songs or spiritual songs which will make you feel peaceful. What is important is that when you go to bed, you need to go with the bed with a positive thought as well as wake up in the morning with a positive thought. Now I'll just give you an example how in a same situation a person can think in a negative way as well as in a positive way. For example, a boy calls his girlfriend a couple of times but she does not pick the call and then he sends a couple of messages but there is no response. So if he's a person who thinks negative, 
Many negative things will linger in his mind. He might get scared thinking she must have met with an accident or that she's no more interested in him or she's cheating on him. So many negative things will go on his mind and what happened? He will get tense, he'll get stressed out. He might show anger on someone in the workplace and get into trouble and he would not be able to focus on his work. But if he's a person who thinks in a positive way, he would think maybe she's busy with some other work or maybe her mobile is out of charge or maybe she's not well and she's taking rest and once she's free, she would get back to me. So this, what happens is that he would be relaxed, he would be able to focus on his work as well as it would not have a negative impact on his relationship. So it is very, very essential for us to recognize our negative thoughts in the beginning itself when it is weak and kill it and to replace our negative thoughts with positive thoughts. Now, I will give you seven strategies by which you can put an end to your negative thinking and promote your positive thinking. First and first point is that you need to identify the source of your negative thinking and avoid it. You need to understand what are the things which trigger negative thoughts in you. Maybe you are surrounded by the people who are always thinking and speaking negative. Or maybe you are listening to too much of negative news. Or maybe you are reading something which is very uh, depressing or negative. So identify what, are the, what is the source and avoid it. The second strategy is thought stopping or stop thought. Any time you observe negative thinking is lingering in your mind, you should immediately take a control over your mind and order your mind to stop thinking negative. And try visualizing some positive situation which makes you feel peaceful. You can also count from 100 to 1 backwards or just splash some water on your face. The third point is that you should have a close watch on your thoughts and when you realize that your negative thoughts are triggering your negative emotions, you need not only have to stop your negative thought but you need to immediately replace your negative thought with a positive thought. For example, you're going for an interview and then you develop a fear and you start thinking negative that you might not get the job or you might not perform well in the interview. You need to immediately stop your negative thought and replace it with a positive thought like no matter what, I'm going to perform well and I'm going to crack this interview and get the job. The next point is that you have to practice positive affirmations consistently. So morning as soon as you wake up, you're going to practice positive affirmation. Then throughout the day, after every hour or any time you get the negative thought, you should immediately say some positive affirmation. And then before going to bed also, you need to practice positive affirmation. If you keep repeatedly practicing this, automatically what will happen is that your negative thoughts will start reducing and positive and rational thoughts will take its place. The fifth point is that you need to enforce boundaries regarding your negative thoughts. For example, in case you are a person who have lived a long life thinking in a negative way, then stop thought process and practicing positive affirmations would not help much. So in this case, you need to enforce boundaries. So what you have to do is that you in a week, you need to set aside a particular time during which you would entertain your negative thoughts. And apart from this, the remaining time, any time a negative thought comes into your mind, you're going to stop it forcefully. So if you practice this consistently, automatically your negative thoughts will disappear and positive and rational thoughts will automatically come. The fifth point is that in case you observe that your 
negative thoughts are resulting in intense negative emotions like fear anxiety grief jealousy you need to write down or pour out all your feelings and thoughts in a sheet of paper and then destroy it the last strategy is that you need to learn to reframe a sentence using a word just because which you can recite to yourself any time a negative thought lingers in your mind you need to take a deep breath recite the sentence and then you need to breathe out releasing all your tension and stress for example you can say just because i have not found a good job so far it does not mean that i will never find one in future or you can say just because my previous partner betrayed me it does not mean that i will not find my true love so these are the seven strategies which you need to follow consistent consistently so that you can completely overcome your negative thinking and make positive thinking a part of your life hope this information was useful to you and in case it was useful to you please do give me a thumbs up share my video with your friends do subscribe to my channel as well as hit the bell icon so that you get timely notification every time i post my new video thank you so much